In Mexico, the death of 18-year-old Debony Escobar has sparked protests. Her body was found in a motel water tank after she disappeared. And this is the last photo of Escobar. She's standing with her arms folded on an empty highway in the middle of the night. It was taken by a cab driver who Escobar's father alleges tried to sexually assault her. Authorities say Escobar died from a head injury, but activists say her death needs to be investigated further as her story sparks outrage over the increasing disappearances and killings of women in the country. So journalist and producer Luis Chaparro wrote about this story for Vice News and is here to discuss. Thanks for joining us. I sort of, uh, you know, barreled through the story, um, but there are details there that I'd like you to sort of shed a light on because there are conflicting um, explanations coming from the government, coming from authorities. What do we know about this case? Well, um, Amber, thank you for having me. And yes, I mean, there are conflicted uh, versions about what happened with Debony. Uh, even uh, the fact that she was in that party with, with, with her friends, new details are showing that those were actually not her um, friends. She just met them at the party. Mm. And, and that's why they left her all alone there. And they hired the driver who later in the night um, sexually assaulted her, according to, to the Bani's um, dad. Um, we also know now that the autopsy showed that there was no water on her lungs, meaning that she was thrown into the tank after actually being dead. Um, and, and, and not like the official, official version initially said, that she died um, at, by accidentally falling into the water tank. So you can understand why this case would capture the attention of a country. Uh, she is beautiful. This is a bizarre and, and tragic mystery. But the thing about her as well is that she's the 20th woman to be reported missing in the last four weeks alone in uh, Nuevo Leon. Is mm -hmm. there a trend here yes, that definitely. needs to be investigated? Give us a little more insight. Yes, definitely. I mean, um, the fact that the baddie's um, dead, uh, well, basically the, the baddie's dead, um, came to a point where women in Nuevo Leon are actually scared of going out in the streets. She is the 20th missing um, girl reported in Nuevo Leon. And, and, and uh, um, let me um, highlight reported, because there are a lot of them that are not being reported mm. because of the families are afraid or because um, just uh, the authorities are not listening to, to some of the families. So that we know she is the 20th in four weeks. And um, uh, activists said that this is nothing new, that this has been happening uh, since at least five years now, but wow. that only the last, um, the last month, this really spiked to a point that they cannot take it anymore. And they're asking for, for justice, but also for protection from, from authorities. Why is this area, this region, a hotspot for these types of disappearances? Is there a reason? Well, it's hard to say, to be honest, but Nuevo Leon is at the corner of having strong cartel-related violence. Um, two of the main drug cartels in Mexico have a strong presence here, but also it's one of the richest states in, in, in the whole country, uh, meaning that impunity levels are, are pretty high. Mm. Uh, Luis, well, I'm glad that you are shining a light on this. And as you continue your reporting, I hope we can have you back because I think it's a conversation that needs to be had. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you very much for having me.